on cue noise campaigns are used by proxy stalkers to harass you from a distance with the power of low vibrational frequencies. Noises such as leaf blowers, you know, those lawnmowers, mechanical, you know, gas electric powered equipment. It used to bring a fond memory to my attention. You would go outside. You would hear certain machines running, lawnmowers, push mowers, weed whackers. And you would be reminded of, you know, summertime. You'd be reminded of, it's about to be warm out, you know, fireworks, grilling outside, you know, grilling and chilling, swimming by the pool, getting the yard ready, helping out your dad or your neighbor, or your grandparents, or starting you a little, you know, a little business, a little side hustle, you know, cutting lawns, 15, 20, 40 bucks a pop, $20 for the front yard in the back. But now, these noises kind of take you to somewhat of a dark place. And, you know, I'm not one to make a big deal out of, of small things. I'm not one to make a mountain out of a molehill, but it's something something darker to these machines than you you than one might think. One might look at a video like this one and be like, well brother, you are outside. People have yards. Grass needs to get cut, brother. You know? You go outside at a certain time, people might be working on their yard. I wouldn't worry about it. And honestly, that is an ideology that... <clears throat> that is that is an ideology that I'm just going to have to accept. Even though I know the darker side to it. And it's good to stay positive. So when someone gives you something, even though it may not be true to your experience, if it's positive and you're able to use it to, you know, trick your mind into just accepting that it is what it is and it's not that serious and everything's going to be okay. See, man, these, these frequencies, they, make a, they, they bring a tear out of my eye. Oh, man. That's not good. But anyway, let me dry my eye real quick. Oh, I think I'm feeling a little better. But anyway, let me take a moment just to readjust. The darker side to this is that they want to disturb your peace. And it even goes deeper than that. <clears throat> it even goes deeper than that. Having noticed these things, at first, you just think it's nothing. People have to get things done. Where I, I'm, I'm not that important for somebody to change their schedule for me or for someone to stop what they're doing because I'm in the middle of something or I'm about to start something or because we just had the random coincidence of starting at the same time. Maybe I'm connecting too many dots. 
Maybe I'm just paranoid. What's freaky about it is there are some people that even if, you know, you're, they're not stalking you, for whatever reason, there are certain people that are just a little bit more watched than others, more than they would like. And you'll find everyday people, you know, who come off as normal. At least that's what we hope they are. But they'll still be watching. So regardless of people being stalkers or not, there are just some people who get a little bit more attention given to them than others. And not everybody is going to notice it. It's just primarily going to be something that you see and you see only. No one else is going to take note that people are doing things on cue. All right. No one else is going to see the weird things that you notice happening around you that you cannot control. Number one, everybody's in their own world. And number two, they're not awake to your experience. They're not awake to what what ha happens to a targeted individual art because these kinds of things don't happen to everyone, all right? And it makes people kind of question your sanity when you talk to them about it and bring it up to them. So we already know that's a no-go. Trying to make sure you guys can see me, but the you know, I'm not mad at Mr. Sun, but you know, this glare is a little, maybe I gotta reposition myself. There we go. That's much better. So, with that being said, you know, um, trying to explain this situation to other people is a no-go. So, you pretty much just have to deal with it. And you pretty much have to, you know, be strong and be tough-minded because there's going to be a lot of things that you experience that no one's going to be on board with you. And like as far as noise campaigns, they're doing it to basically, like I said, attack your peace. When you're watched like a hawk 24-7, there are people who, you know, it's like they, they build a strange, weird connection with you. You're somebody to them, but they're nobody to you because you don't know them. And someone had the nerve to say in my last live the other day, go up and say hello. The last thing someone that's followed by others and watched by others should do is to walk up and speak to them because, you know, that may be the last time you freely get to walk up and speak to another person again. All right, you know, that's like meeting someone that, you know, did something wrong to someone face to face. And it's like, of all the people who've been doing this to you, you finally are up close and personal face to face with one of them. Me personally, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to pray on that. I'm going I'm to have to pray on, on myself for that one. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to pray on 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 that mo. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to pray one time on 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 this one. All right, I'm gonna have to pray on 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 this one. All right, purposeful stuttering to add effect. I might add. Anyway, bro, who who wants to walk up and speak to someone that they know is purposefully trying them? Not a good idea. You may you, you, you try not to react, then that's that's definitely not a, a good <laughs> it's definitely not a good move. If you try not to react to someone, why would you walk up to them front close and personal and put yourself in a situation like that? You know, not me, not not this vessel. 
Um, but yeah, like the, these machines, right? Of course, everybody has their memories. You know, dad's out on the lawnmower, your neighbor's out on the lawnmower, their neighbor's out on the lawnmower, you know, grass gets cut, you know. Maybe you live next to a school or church where the lawn was cut every other week. You know, maybe you have someone in your family that works for a lawn, a lawn care company. Maybe you got your grass cut for, for the free. I ain't mad at you. You get that, you get that grass cut for the free. But these machines are used for a deep, dark, twisted purpose. And I don't believe too many people are aware of this. If, if I ever come out with one, it's going to be a quiet. I think they have those too. I think they have the, the lawn machines that are quiet. And they don't make much noise. I think they have some that don't you know make a whole lot of noise you know they don't disturb people but you know and it's not even just machines it's just noise campaigns in general all right and why they're used and the purpose for them all right and these are and and don't i don't want you to minimize this i don't want you to catastrophize it but it shouldn't be minimized all right these these are planned out attacks on your psyche on your psychology, on your peace, on your mind, on your spirit. These are well planned out, well thought out attacks. Because like I said, people are watching you and they're developing a relationship with you. All right, that that is the psychopath, that is the sociopath. They have a relationship developed with you, one you don't even know. That's why when you, you watch movies, and you watch TV shows, you'll see that some crazy man will have a, a picture uh, or or pictures of a woman on his wall. You know that those were the before Facebook. You know which I I believe all those things were created for people to stalk because that they that that serpent spirit that governs this program you know, had some, had some of its, its minions get a download to create these apps, you know, and I know everything is just like a gun. It could be used for good or used for evil, but back in the day, people would wound you and spare your life. You know, I think, I think it was like, you really have to do something worth getting killed to get murdered for. All right. But like, people would wound you you know that's what arrows and all that stuff was for you know if you can get out alive you can get out alive just get that get that he double hockey sticks away from me and my tribe all right if you can get if you can get out alive get out alive but just get the he double hockey sticks away from me and my tribe you know people would would wound you all right and that's just just my assumption because i know they had guns and other weapons and things like that but like I said, I, I think like like you really had. I think you really had to do something like bad to get killed in, in certain tribes with certain groups of people. So I'm speaking from my own personal experience. There were obviously people getting whacked and killed and murked. It's the world, all right. There's always been some type of thug or savage, and I don't just mean thug like you know, a, a person with a skull cap on in their pants hanging down. I mean somebody that's like people that's taking lives. There's always been but we're not going to get too into that because I know a little bit too much about that. And I may be, I may dive a little too deep into that and I may not be able to bring that one in full circle, but there's always been, you know, there's always been some type of, of war waged against, you know, you know, humanity. It's like one group of people versus another group of people kind of thing. But as far as what we're talking about today, you know, I believe that these these apps and things have been created for people to stalk, for people to watch others. So like I was saying, there are people who back in the day before, you know, like in the 90s and probably farther back than that, people would have pictures of you. They follow you, take pictures, 
You know, that's what that whole trench coat, hat, glasses, you know, that's what that whole gimmick is about. You know, they they either looking for somebody, trying to hide from somebody, or trying to disguise themselves so won't nobody know who they are. But they'll also have cameras and be taking pictures of people unknowingly. But now, when people take so many pictures of themselves and upload them to the internet, you know, just think, just, you know, having fun, you know, doing what they see everybody else doing, you know, and it's harmless. But there are unfortunately evil spirits out there, stalker spirits out there that will prob that are probably on your page, praying over you, looking over your posts, looking over your pictures. And this isn't meant to scare nobody because when you stay prayed up, you know, you, you usually will be okay. God will protect you. But what I'm saying is, is that people are able to watch you and people are able to obsess over you without even being detected. They're able to go on your social media page. They're able to watch you form this relationship with you. And it's the same thing with people out in the street. These people who you don't know, psychopaths, sociopaths, they have a formed relationship with you. And it's like they want some type of connection with you. So when you're out and you're walking, the, and you're, or you're out and you're minding your business or you're out at the store or you're, you're just at your job, like whatever, you're at, wherever you're at, these people have a relationship with you that you are unaware of. And it's a love-hate one. They, they, they have, they're so fond of you but they, they have so much hate toward you at the same time. So what they'll do is they will aim attacks at you with, with these, you know, low vibrational frequencies, these machines, or just any kind of noise in general. So with that being said, it's meant to bring down your chi. All these attacks all the, the noise and everything, these machines, as soon as you, you know, go to get some rest, as uh, soon as you go to go out in the woods and meditate, as uh, soon as you go, you know, we live in a world where people make videos now, as soon as you go out in the woods, uh, people are, you know, certain people are kind of like, un, not kind of, but certain people are under this, uh, this secret inner networking of organized attack from you know neighbors people in the neighborhood people who you live around and it's it's deeper than i thought all right because now i see why the people at my security job were attacking me with this with these these machines you know with the as far as the noise because when i would when when i had a moment of peace to myself and i would go to eat my lunch i'd heat up my little ramen noodles get my sandwich ready get my my chips ready you know and I hook my ramen up, you know, boop, boop, boop. As soon as I stand my phone up and press play to watch TV, the lawn care company pulls up before I could even take my first bite. You know, so I'm like, whoa, <laughs> wow. Okay, y'all are ready to cut some grass today. But even though it's like not every day and it's, well, if it doesn't happen every day, how do you know? How are you able to pick up a pattern if it doesn't happen every day? Even if something doesn't happen every day, you're able to pick up a routine just by what people are doing, how they're doing it, when it's happening, even though it may be happening bi-weekly or every other week. You're not stupid. <laughs> you know, you're not dumb. Are you stupid or dumb? Neither, if you're watching this channel. But now I see why. All right, these, these noises are meant to lower your vibration. All right, they're meant to put you on a lower frequency because they're they're low vibrational frequencies and they're meant to entrap you in a in a realm of negativity. All right, they're meant to entrap you in a realm of frustration. They're meant to entrap you in a realm of irritation and anger and being mad and upset because they like they can't possess us. All right, we're 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 God's chosen vessels. All right, we, we, they can't possess us because of the light that we carry. All right, the light that we carry is it is it, too strong. All right, we have too much too much God in us, too much good in us. So what they can do is they have to try to get in your electromagnetic body. They can't get into your flesh. 
but what they can do is everyone has electromagnetic energy emanating off of them. You have seven chakras. That's why there are seven planets in the solar system, seven colors in the rainbow. Seven is a sacred number to God. He, you know, he created the, the world, the universe, stars and all that in seven days. All right. I may put a little bit extra in there, but he created all that in, in seven days. All right. And he rested. All right. He rested. So it is what it is. All right. Um, seven is a sacred number. Um, you have seven, seven chakras. All right. And what they want to do is try to disturb the, the energy force that is emanating off of you. Because like I said, you have an electro body, you have a physical body and you have a spiritual body. Your spiritual body is made up of electricity. That's why some people, you know, that's why they say people can attract, you're attracted to a person. All right, this is how people, you know, use the law of attraction. This is how people manifest. Your electro body is based off of vibration. It's based off of frequencies. All right, so when you eat certain foods, it brings your vibration down because it, there's a disturbance in your electro body. Your electromagnetic field is off when you eat that McDonald's, that Burger King, you know, all those those fast foods. When you eat them, your, your, your electro body is off. Your aura is off. So it's the same thing when these people will hit you with these random sounds and these random noises. It's to throw off your electromagnetic, you know, bio energy field. You have an energy field. Everything has an energy field. That's why when you go out in nature and you hug a tree, it'll clean your aura up because the tree is connected into the earth. Its, its roots go deep down into the earth. You're getting a 432 hertz frequency. That's why Native Americans walked around with either animal skin on their foot, but no leather. They walked around with animal skin on their foot, but no leather. Because you're cutting yourself off from Mother Nature when you go out into it and you got rubber soles on your feet. All right, the, the rubber is not allowing the electricity to go into the soul, the soul, the soles of your feet. All right, I was just thinking about how magnificent God is the other day because all it takes is a foot, you know, to hold up this whole entire human body. But that's a whole nother video right there. That's just God's magnificence. But your electro, you know, your electro energy field, they can tap into that by getting you upset and getting you angry. When you get upset and you get angry, it changes. Your your energy changes, all right? Your, your aura changes. So, and like I said, when they get, when they can get you angry, they can't get into your real body, but they'll settle for your electro body. Like all these other people who are possessed, they gone. They are gone. They've been knocked out. <sighs> They're out of here. They've been knocked out of their body. You know, that's why it's, it's like, yo, what's up with so-and-so? Something else, something got to them. Something's in them. They've been knocked out their body. So when it comes to you, they can't knock you out your body. But what the one thing that they can do is they could jack up your electro energy field. <clears throat> it's like, you know, it's like a, a radio getting dropped in the water, but you could save it. You know, it may it, it may still work, but it's not going to work the same. You know, you may have to fix it, rewire it or just get a new one. But the thing about this is we can't get new ones. All right. We just have to clean up our our energy field. But when you're on a low vibrational frequency, they're able to possess your uh, your energy field. They're able to make your mood worse. They're able to make you more frustrated. They're able to drain you psychically. You know that this is the whole meaning of being a psychic vampire. All right. They're able to get this. They're able to get you upset and they could tap into your electro uh, energy field. All right. They could they could tap into your electric energy field. And they could attack you that way or right, take your energy. You know, they could possess you that way, possess your energy field. You know, that's why it feels like some of us are extra heavy. That's why it feels like, you know, some of us are weighed down or irritated or it's like you don't feel like yourself. This is why meditation is important. Anything that takes you to a peaceful state and get your mind off of thoughts, get your mind off of thinking, 
get your mind off of this material world and focused on peace, focused on God, focused on, you know, nature and the universe. Anything that does that is uh, is going to destroy, you know, that entity that's trying to possess your, your energy field. All right. They can't possess you. They can't possess your spirit. But what they could do is they could attack that electro um, energy field. All right. So this is this is why, you know, getting upset is a no go. This is why sharing energies and sharing, you know, emotions and, and feelings and getting upset and frustrated over these entities is a no no. Because the, like the minute you get upset, it's like they're able to to snatch your your aura, sna like snatch your energy field. They can't snatch your body. All right. They, they can't possess you that way. But what they will do is they will try to corrupt your auroric field. They'll try to corrupt that auroric field. All right. And when they can tap into that and when they could tap into your energy field, that's when they really can do damage because they don't have a solar plexus. They don't have a solar chakra. They don't have that. They don't have a, a energy uh, source All right, that connects them to source. So what they have to do is they have to try to feed off of you. They can't possess you, but they'll try to feed off of you. And what they'll do is they'll try to feed off of you enough until they could try to possess you, but they'll never be able to do that. They'll, they'll never be able to, to do that fully. So the best thing they could do is try to mess with your energy and that's it. And that's why these noises, these noise campaigns, they bring your chi down. They bring your energy down. It's the constant attack. It's the constant disturbance of peace. It's the constant irritating, the constant irritation, the constant upsetting. You know, it's the, it's, it's the constant annoyance of them doing what they do, aimed at you, targeted at you, the targeted one. So it is what it is. You know, a lot of people probably think, you know, you might think too highly of yourself or you think you're too important. You're, all, you, all you're doing is being aware of your surroundings and making sense of the things that people are doing because you're intelligent enough to see it. All right. You're wise enough to see what's going on. You're, you're smart enough to know that there are those who, you know, have an eye on you a little closer than they should. And it's like, like I said, they have this relationship with you. It's just love and hate. It's like, oh, okay, there's, there's my friend. Let me disturb his peace. He, he always likes it when I disturb his peace and turn this machine on. You know, like they, who knows what type of craziness they have going on in their mind that they're, they're like low key trying to make you a part of in this whole underground network of evil, you know, just paying attention to people a little bit more than you should. But then there are those who have a little bit more attention on them than is necessary. And you noticing it and other people do, do not noticing it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with you. But that's the thing. They want to create some type of paranoia. They want to create dementia. All right. They want to create a, a sense of a mental illness spirit within you to, to make you second guess yourself because it's like they want you to feel that it's it, they, they want you to feel that it's not happening, even though, you know, it is. And that's why they, they do things the way they do it, because if you talk to other people about it, people are going to be like, that's not happening. You know, people are going to be like, nobody, nobody did that uh, because of you. And it's not that we think that we're more important than anybody. That ain't it. You know, that ain't it at all. It's just that you're able to notice the behavior of others and in, in relation to yourself with their noise campaigns. And they're not just going out to you know take care of their yard in certain cases sometimes it's people who are actually using these machines to affect you negatively and bring your energy down all right you'll notice it soon as you sit down the lawnmower turns on as soon as you open your door uh, uh something will start making noise as soon like it, it's right on cue all right it's, it's it's on cue i didn't title the on cue title for this title on cue for no reason they're they're doing this stuff right on time in correlation to you doing other things. So I know some people are going to think this video is crazy. You know, if I wasn't aware of, of this happening to other people, I would probably think it was crazy too. But your homie ain't crazy. I know, I know that for a fact. So, I mean, all it is is just people, you know, watching you too much, doing things at the same time and trying to get in your head. And you just have to, you know, 
not let it get to you and not be upset over it and not let it annoy you. So that way you're not going to be affected as harsh as you would be because these, the, these machines are set to try to bring your energy down, bring your chi down. Of course, you know, hey, you might have one in your garage, but the thing is you're not aiming it at anyone. You're just cutting your grass and that's it. But one more thing before we go, there is a way, and as soon as you do this, you'll notice that it'll stop. All right, there, there is a, even these machines have a, a, a rhythm. All right, they have a bio energetic rhythm, I think it's called, I'm not sure, but they have a rhythm. All right, because everything has a frequency and everything has a vibration. So even when they try to attack you with these machines, even though it's low level and low frequency, you could tap into the rhythm of it to where now it's not annoying and you could find peace by tapping into the rhythm of it. You just have to be still and you have to put yourself at just a, a, a you just put yourself in a relaxed position where you're just listening and just become one with the you know with the machine or with the noise and find the rhythm in it and then that way that's the only that's one way that i know that you can stop this from being a pest being a bothersome and being an annoyance and that's how you could tune it out and block it out by just tapping into the rhythm of it whether it's the animal barking whether it's machine whether it's someone banging someone yelling just you know if you could tap into the frequency somewhat, not to where you're damaged, but just to uh, just to anno- uh, ignore the annoyance of it. All right. You may uh, I may have to further break this down in a video for you to understand what I'm saying. But I know most people who are tapped in and, and tuned in will be able to understand what I mean by that. So I know I'm not losing everybody. But if you're lost, don't worry, there's going to be more videos for for more clarification and understanding to uh, uh, on a on a Drew Tube channel near you. All right. So. It's been real, y'all. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.